everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can see by the title is going to be my closet tour q a i also have a haul to share with you guys i've got a ton of new goodies to share so we'll get to that in just a minute but i just wanted to check in with y'all see how y'all are doing i am having such a great day which is really awesome because i feel like with all the uncertainty with everything going on it has not been easy. It's been so challenging. There's been major ups and downs. There's a lot of uncertainty, like I said. And, you know, every day is kind of like, you just really don't know what to expect. But today I'm having an amazing one. I am so glad that I'm filming. I am so glad that I'm here with you guys. I miss y'all. And I don't know how to fully explain that. I know I said that in one of my last videos. My content hasn't been consistent. It's really hard for me to be consistent with content with everything that's going on right now. It's hard to do everything right. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm not the only one feeling this way. I just feel like I cannot get everything done. It's literally impossible right now, but I'm doing my best. I just feel like I miss y'all. I miss that kind of like interaction, which is why I'm so excited to be filming this video. I actually recently did a handbag collection video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. But in that video, I got a ton, ton of questions about my closet. You guys wanted an updated closet tour. If you wanted to see a before and after how my closet became what it is today, check out this video. You actually get to see the evolution of them breaking down my old closet building up the new closet it's actually a really really fun video so that is what this video is going to be about i specifically asked y'all what questions you had about my closet so we're going to go through my closet and answer all your questions before we do that i do want to share with y'all a quick express haul they reached out to me and wanted me to choose some closet basic and closet essentials i of course ordered a few extra things but i've got some things to share with you guys so let's go ahead and go through all of this first up i already put on one of the outfits everything else needs to be opened i figured i could do like a true unboxing boxing with y'all but this two-piece set y'all is so comfy I did go up a size in the top it's a crop fit so make sure to go up a size if you don't want a crop fit but then I'm wearing an extra small and the joggers they are so comfortable and it is the perfect like lounge suit and it's just really really cute you can even like do a little off the shoulder if you want I'm, I'm just digging digging this but like I said I've got so many things to share with y'all so let's go ahead and dig in okay so first up I grabbed these socks I thought these would be perfect instead of wearing slippers around the house these are so so soft and comfortable I think I ordered yes I did order another pack of socks again I just thought these are going to be a perfect alternative to wearing around the house instead of wearing house slippers something you don't really have to worry about we have wood floors so I like to wear socks around the house keeps your toesies kind of cozy next up I got these like jogger pants these are a little bit dressier so if you want something that you can wear now lounging around the house but also something that you can wear later to the office or a little bit more professional you can see I got an extra small in these and I just think these are going to be so good like I said for now and later I love the color I would totally rock this with just like a basic tee but then you could throw on a blazer or something with this and a cami or something and you're all dressed up I also really fell in love with these shorts I did get this in a size small the fabric is really really nice and soft again something you could totally wear now with just like basic tee lounging around the house but I am totally going to be rocking these later. Next up is this thermal top. I love their tops that are styled like this. They are very relaxed, very loose. You guys know I love a v-neck and I thought this color was so, so pretty. Next up is one of their like basic tees. This is a v-neck. You guys know you can never have enough of those. I went up a size in this one, a medium. This one I did get my true to size, which is a small because it is a looser fit. You know on top I like a looser fit just in general. I also got that basic tee in this green color just wanted to stock up like I said I got this one in a medium as well okay I am so excited about these I grabbed these leggings in an extra small these were a crop fit so they should fit me just like a regular pant but again right now we are living in leggings this with one of their basic tees is perfect for just lounging around the house and then I saw this like burnout tee and I just thought it was so so cute I think I went up a size in this one as well yes I went up to a medium in this one one. This one is a little bit thinner. It kind of has that burnout material. Okay, so this next thing is a blazer and this right here is probably one of my favorite blazer silhouettes. I actually got this in white and I shared it in a recent video and when I saw that they came out with the same exact silhouette in black, I had to grab it. This is a oversized boyfriend type of fit but it is so classic to me. You need blazers in your closet and, and the Express makes some of my favorites. They're just 
so good. Speaking of blazers, here is another one. When I got the black one with the gold buttons and I saw that they had it in white, this is just so classic, you guys. And the fact that you can get this look, this style at this price point is amazing because this blazer looks way, way more expensive than it actually is. Next up are these pleated pants. I got these in an extra small. These are a crop fit. So I hope these fit and look good. I can tell they're gonna be super comfortable. The material is super, super soft. What's great about this, again, this is something you could wear now if you just wanna be a little bit dressier. I know we're not fully getting up and doing like the whole like full on getting dressed, but sometimes there are days that I wanna just put something on other than just like a jogger suit. And this would be a great way to put something on where you feel polished and put together but you're still comfortable like these I can tell are already gonna be super super comfortable I love the elastic band pick okay, these two pieces together right here so cute and the last piece that I have from Express is a blouse I love the tie front detail I love the sleeve detail it kind of has like a little bit of ruching if you are doing zoom meetings for work and things like that you want to grab a little bit nicer blouses so you can just throw on some leggings underneath and nobody will ever know but again you can wear this later to the office so that is it you guys I will make sure to link everything down below in the info box thank you so much to Express for sponsoring this portion of the video now let's get to the closet tour so probably the biggest question that I was asked is if I share a closet and if this used to be a bedroom and I turned it in the closet and the answer is no and no this house was built with his and her closets and so this is my space it's always been a closet and I just had it redone a couple of years ago and I love the way that it turned out it is all custom so keep that in mind I get asked all the time about this shelving this shelving my dresser everything was built like custom they come into your space they measure it out and then you kind of say what you want what you're looking for and then they will give you a 3d render with with a quote and then you say yes or no you make tweaks if you want to I think I went through two or three rounds before I got it down to a budget that I felt comfortable spending and I really really do love this space as far as budget that was another question that I was asked you definitely are gonna want to save for this it is a really really large investment I think the last time someone asked me that I said it's the cost of two brand new Chanel's well that is how much my closet costs is the cost of two brand new Chanel's keep that in mind it is definitely an investment and I feel like I did a huge bang for your buck I got a lot for my money but of course it can get way more expensive with lighting and doors and things like that and I feel like my closet turned out amazing I'm happy with it and there's nothing that I would change the next question that I was asked was in regards to how long it took for them to do it it just took a few days it was actually really really quick and it wasn't an issue at all everything else is in regards to organization so I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera and let's go and hit up some of these spots in my closet the next question that I was asked is how I store my handbags so most of my handbags are on shelving so I have these shelves up here which are all adjustable and have been moved so many times so I definitely recommend going the adjustable shelf route just simply because you are gonna change your mind a ton of times my collection has changed so you can see I've got a ton of bags just here on this one shelf but I still have room because I can turn that bag on its side as as well as this bag on its size and put more there but I have things in every single shelf you can see the way this works and then I added these hooks here these closet hooks that you can hang clothes on but I'm using them for extra bags so bags that are a little bit harder to store on a shelf I mean something like this is really really hard to store on a shelf this bag as well and it's perfect to have these hooks another place that I have bags is on my lady so this is one of those like bust mannequins so again and my harder to store bags on shelves go on her so we've got two of these like crossbody type of bags and then my belt bag is there as well my next question was how I store my denim and I actually have tried so many different ways to store my jeans and by far my favorite has been this way and it is simply just storing them on shelving so I used to actually have this filled up with shoes and bags as well but over time I've realize that I prefer this my suggestion is to store them by category of denim so you could store like skinny jeans mom jeans boyfriend jeans whatever it is I would section them off by category and then you can even separate them even more if your collection grows so you can have skinny jeans that are not distressed skinny jeans that are distressed and so on but I love this way I do have my own little method of madness but I think that this way is just really really easy I do the same 
thing with all of my shorts and I just have them categorized by denim shorts and then like chino style shorts and then drawstring style, uh, style shorts and then I also keep my leggings here as well as you can see. I have several of them dirty because I've been living in them but yes this is how I store all of my shorts and my denim and my leggings. My next question that I was asked was about my jewelry storage. So everything is on these top two drawers here in my dresser. Again, this was all, you know, custom made. You can have them do this if you'd like. I did do the actual storage containers after the fact, and I do have a video on that. I will link it here for you guys. But all of my jewelry is in these different divider trays. I typically have it sectioned with this drawer being my gold and that drawer being my silver and two-tone and maybe a little bit of rose gold but as you can see I've got trays for earrings I keep my sunglasses and some larger earrings here watches more sunglasses more earrings and rings and things bracelets and then over here is where you've got some silver and two-tone and like more of my stacking jewelry and then of course more watches and things like that I also have this little section here where I keep my two most used watches though I will say I did just order a new watch so that one will end up in this case and then I have this three-tiered stand and this is for my necklaces I do keep some of my necklaces in here as you can see but these are my most used ones or my longer ones or more my more dainty ones that I don't want to get tangled up so I use that as well and then I always just keep trays everywhere if you look throughout the house look in my office look in my bathroom I keep trays everywhere so this is kind of like a catch-all for hair ties or for jewelry when I take it off so I always like having that option as well and next up is all of my shoes so this is the majority of my shoes though I do keep some shoes in my office so certain like seasoned shoes that are just new for the current season I do keep those in my office this is where the rest of it goes all my luxury shoes and things that maybe are no longer in stock but I of course love and I'm keeping um, I had a lot of y'all ask how I store my boots and stuff I keep them up there I'm pretty picky about um, storing boots and I like to stuff them so they stay up the only ones I don't have up is th that pair right there as you can see those are over the knee boots and it's almost impossible to keep those up but this is where all of my shoes are and if you remember a long time ago I'll try to insert a picture I used to keep shoes and bags here and shoes and bags here and I really did like that but I will say I love the fact that all of my shoes are in one spot or most of my shoes are in one spot that I can really just look at this shelving or know that it's in my office and you know pick a pair of shoes and just like same thing with my bags I'm not looking in four different areas in my closet I have like one main general area that my handbags are the next question that I was asked is how I store my belts and I love this concept you guys so I did end up getting rid of a couple of belts and this is my current belt collection and this little spot is so perfect I have these stacked these are stackable so you can buy more drawers if you need I just need the one and it's perfect so you can see I have some kind of coiled in there and they look really really pretty as a display once it's closed it's just really pretty easy I will make sure to link these down below I also got quite a few questions about the mirrors in my closet so I do have two in here so I have one on this door going to the bathroom and then one on this door going to the laundry room I do use both and I love them both and I think they add a glam touch to the closet. So another question that I was asked is how I organize my actual clothing and I have quite a lot of my basics and camis and stuff in the dirty clothes but basically how I organize it is by length of sleeve and I guess you could say climate. So I've got camis, then we go into basic tees, and then we go into dressier short sleeve, then you go into three quarter sleeve, long sleeve, and then we go into blazers and then cardigans and then sweaters. That is basically how I do it. I also had a lot of y'all ask about my white tees. Yes, I have a lot. As you can see, I love basic white tees. And yes, these are all different. I mean, I have some duplicates, for the, but for the most part, these are all different. I, they all have different fits and things like that and different materials. And down here is my athletic wear. I've got sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then you go into hoodies and pullovers and zip ups and things like that. Obviously, I like my gray hoodies, I told you. And then we go into jackets. So these are like vests, denim jackets, and you go into like moto jackets and thicker jackets all the way back. 
And then over here in this section, we have pants that basically I don't want to fold. So dressier type of pants and slacks and things like that. So these are just kind of in order of dressiness, I guess you could say. A little bit more casual in the front, dressier, more professional in the back. And then we've got all my dresses back there. And then on this side, I keep my robes and then my longer coats and things like that. I wanted to go ahead and hop on camera really quickly because another question that I was asked is about how I rotate my clothing and I am constantly cleaning out and getting rid of things in my closet. Most of it goes on my Poshmark and then everything that I make from my Poshmark gets donated. So I do that. Other things I let friends and family take if you know, they kind of have first dibs or I give it to my cleaning ladies. So I am constantly, constantly refreshing my, my wardrobe. I would need a closet 10 times this size to keep the amount of clothing that I share with you guys. It's virtually impossible. With that said, another question that I was asked is if I plan on expanding this closet. And the answer is no. This closet is a very, very good size. I have plenty of room for everything, whether it's shoes, bags, accessories, clothing, everything. I have plenty of room for every single thing in this closet. So the way that I look at it is if there's an area that I'm starting to grow out of, then that means it's time for me to purge and donate and put things in my Poshmark or give things away. I really do love this closet. I feel like I have used up this space very, very well and it still manages to still look really, really beautiful. Like I love this space. I love being in here. If there's something about this space that it's like my little girl cave, I, I just, I love it. I also wanted to share this spot with y'all as well because I had a lot of y'all ask how I plan outfits and I do utilize this spot a lot for that specific thing. Now sometimes like right here, this is everything that I just shared with you guys from Express. So I hung it up, I've hung it here and then what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll put them in the category and the spot within my closet that they belong. But I think having a, an area, it doesn't have to be a separate area like this, it doesn't even have to be a large area, but at least if you have maybe about a foot of a rod or maybe even a hook or a couple of hooks somewhere in the closet that you can hang things for these kind of different reasons. I just love having this space. And for the most part, I have it empty unless I'm using it to pick out outfits or I'm using it for this to uh, new things are coming in and I have to put them in my closet. So I love having a space like that. Another question that I was asked is how I organize my scarves. And I'm still using the same technique that I shared with y'all in my closet organization video. I love these clear storage containers for multiple reasons. One, they work as a storage container for seasons that you don't need them, but even during seasons that I am using scarves, it's so easy to see where the scarf is that I want to use or just to say what scarf do I want to use and I can see most of them really quickly right here. So I love this way. You can put them up a little higher if you need to, but this right here has been my favorite way to store scarves. I also got asked how I store all my SLGs in pouches and this right here has been a lifesaver for me. So these storage containers are really nice, clear, so they look great, but you can keep all your mini pouches and everything separate. So you can see I've got all my never full pouches there and slimmer pouches. I've got mini pochette and key pouch there and some other pouches there, but these little dividers and organizers are perfect for small smaller pieces. I also got quite a few questions about my chandeliers. I have three of them in here. One, two, and three. These are all from Lamps Plus. If they're still available, I'll link them down below for y'all. I do love them and I think they just look beautiful in here. So if it's in your budget, I definitely recommend adding something like this to a, a space like this. Once you get it remodeled and redone, adding something like this just kind of adds like that cherry on top and I think they look perfect in here. I had a few of y'all ask to see how I organized my drawers. So this is my sports bras and my workout bottom. So I've got shorts and leggings in these two aisles. And then here I have my lounge wear pants. You can see I have everything separated by these acrylic dividers and it just works out perfect for me. And I just started this new rolling technique and I love it. Here is that same technique in my pajama drawer. What's great about this technique is you can roll everything together. So you just grab this bundle. The top is in there as well. It's so easy. It looks great in the drawer and it's easy to grab and go and you don't have to worry about trying to find the 
bottoms or trying to find the top. I really do love this method. I also got asked about seasonal things. So you can see I've got these round hat boxes up at the top and these two are bathing suits and cover up and things like that. So obviously I'm only reaching for those in the summer, but again, just like the scarves over here, you can see what it is. So you can grab the one that you need. And then in this one, I have gloves and beanies and things like that as well. So these clear containers not only look great, but make it really, really easy when you're looking for something when it comes to that specific season. When it comes to storage of things that you don't need to see, I keep them in covered boxes that are actual not see-through. You can see them all the way at the top of my closet. I have a couple more up there. So I have some travel things. I have like a travel pillow and storage bags that I use when I'm traveling. I have some extra belts up there and then I have my boxing gloves and things like that up there. And then I've got a memory box of course and I also have a subby box. Every time you guys send me a card or a letter or something I always save it in that one right there. So that is it you guys. The next thing I do want to say and I didn't really get any specific questions about this but I just kind of want to add in is I definitely recommend once you get your closet done and organized the way that you wanted, I would definitely add some finishing touches. Add things like photos and flowers and artwork and things like that. Add things to make it feel just like another room in your house. And to me, that is why this room is not only just my closet, but it's a space that I enjoy to be in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, my name is Amanda. I hope you guys are all doing okay, staying safe. I'm thinking about you all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new and that notification button so you don't miss any of my videos and before you head out make sure to check out one of these videos and I will see y'all in the next one talk to you soon bye bye